Mesenchymal stem cells are thought to be one of our original uh, cells that, that, that we have as embryos that eventually will differentiate into various organs. Uh, pockets of these remain behind and it's thought that you can tap into these if, if we need a new source of cells. So these cells retain the ability, they haven't committed themselves to, to be a brain cell, an eye cell, a skin cell. They retain the ability to differentiate along those lines. Over the years of studying these cells, uh, we discovered they had a, a fairly unique property that uh, excited everyone who deals with multiple sclerosis because although the thought would be maybe these cells could, could replace the myelin-making cells of the brain, assuming that those cells are, or there's something wrong with them. But we all know that there's nothing wrong with them. They're just being targeted by the immune system. And if you uh, then replace them with new cells, wouldn't they also be the target of the immune system? It would just, it wouldn't really fix the problem. But they have this unique ability to uh, direct themselves to the body where injury is occurring. And when they get there, they seem to be able to encourage wherever they are in the body, uh, repair. And so there are studies uh, that have started with, uh, and especially in, in, in Ottawa where we are, uh, there's another study looking at these cells and their capacity to repair hearts. And because there's a certain time where the heart is damaged beyond repair and you know you need to have a heart transplant, but maybe there's a way of getting the body to repair the own, its own heart. Uh, and, and so the uh, experiment started to move in the direction of some of the animal models for MS, and it was shown that if you put the cells, just inject them uh, even intravenously, they will find their way to the inflammatory uh, plaques. They're extremely well tolerated. You get them from the person, so there's no rejection. Uh, it's easy to culture and you can inject them intravenously and the thought is that they'll be able to migrate to areas that are inflamed in an MS patient's brain and, in, and sh shut down the inflammation and encourage the repair.